This video is the refinement of the previous ring we made before. Make sure to watch my previous video, otherwise it will not make sense. Let's turn off our gemstones and we are going to select our band ring and delete it for the moment. As you can see, we have our band, which is uh, nice and square. However, we want to uh, refine it uh, by uh, making an arc uh, shape on the bottom. So we are simply going to do this with our arcs tool. Go to our arcs icon, click on the drop down and select the second option. Click on it. And let's place uh, the first point about here. Just eyeball it. Uh, press and hold shift on your keyboard and uh, then place uh, the second uh, point uh, here and it's going to allow us uh, to uh, modify the arc uh, with a mid point uh, which we are simply going to uh, snap it on the bottom just like that. Alright, now we are going to uh, remove the parts we don't need with uh, our splitting tool. Select the splitting tool icon and uh, select the object to split, which is this one. Press enter and uh, select the cutting object, which is our new line, and press enter once again. Select uh, the parts you don't need and just delete it. All right, now we have nicely rounded at the bottom of our band, but it's still missing something and that something is uh, the uh, fillet curves which uh, will uh, round off uh, those uh, sharp edge. You can find it on the curves tool here and uh, this is the icon. Click on it and it's going to give us uh, some option which is the uh, radius. We can change it uh, the radius to about uh, 0 0.5 and select the first curve which is this one and select the uh, second curves to fill it and do this uh, on the other side as well. So now we created a nice uh, fillet curves. We can also uh, do this on the inside because uh, if this is sharp like that, it can cause some problem when uh, we are casting. So right click on your mouse and uh, this time we are going to make a lower uh, radius, uh, 0 0.1. Press enter, select the first curve and the second curves. Do the same on the other side. So on the outside, we don't uh, really need to do it because it's going uh, to round off naturally uh, when uh, uh, there is uh, the uh, setting process. But if uh, you want to make a nice rendering, then you can do it as well. Otherwise, there is no point. Uh, let's select all uh, the curves we just made. And uh, we are going to join them by typing join on your keyboard. Press enter. and. Then uh, let's make another sweep, one rail. Sweep one, select the rail, select the object, and then press enter, enter, enter once again. And now, as you can see, we have uh, refined uh, the edge of our ring to make it a more comfortable uh, ring. All right, now what we can do is to add some small holes for our diamonds on our rings. Alright, to do this we are going to use a cylinder to make some holes and uh, we can find the cylinder tools on the solid tools tab and this is the cylinder icon and uh, we are going to place the base press 0 on your keyboard, press enter and make a cylinder of the diameter of 0 0.8 press enter and make length of the cylinder about that size is fine just a good rule of thumb, don't make the holes uh, too small, otherwise you're going to have some problem when uh, you're going to cast it. So let's select our cylinder and uh, let's change uh, to another uh, layer. And then we are going to move uh, the cylinder to, uh, to the top, just like that. All right, now we can uh, do another array polar. Just type array polar on the uh, keyboard and then place uh, the center uh, point on the center of our axis. Press zero on your keyboard. And number of items, 28, because we have 28 gemstones. And then uh, the angle, uh, 360 degrees, and press enter once again. Now to make some holes, we are going to use the Boolean difference. 
uh, which is the command we have uh, saw in my previous video. Uh, just press boolean difference on your keyboard, press enter, select uh, the surface, the poly surface to subtract from, which is uh, our ring, and select the surface to subtract with, which is our cylinders. So uh, to select them all, because we have changed it to another layer, we can go to the uh, green layer, right click on your mouse, and then just select objects, and then press enter once again. And now guys, we have uh, made some nice holes on our ring. If you have watched this video to here, congratulations dude. In my next video, I will show you how to make the same ring, but using prong setting methods.